Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, a 5.0 early access update, Ashes to Embers, in which we're looking at the, the country of Pleasantdale. I'm your host, Mr. Michael Lover, and we're led by Ch Frankie Chase. Um, but yeah, we're going to try out Pleasantdale, see what they're like, see what we can do with good old Hope down here. And then, uh, yeah, if you want to check out the mod for yourself, Old World Blues, uh, it's the first link in the description below, and the update for everyone will be released on February 28th, 2024. But, our happy little community, come and stay in Pleasantdale, where the hearth is warm, and the wine tastes just like you remember it, and then a city of the future. Pleasantdale, a city where the modern man can keep science, reason, and respect at the forefront of his daily routine. Welcome to Pleasantdale. Pre-recorded message from Maxwell Chase, subject, Welcome to Pleasant Tale. x men Topins, Raiders, Reformees, the survivors of the Scarlet Blizzard, you're here simply because you're tired of the rest of the world and you're looking for a place for even sanity. Well, that's not us, but what is sane these days? Given how the world likes to operate, you probably stumbled through and are pleased with the fact that nobody was trying to shoot you on the way in. So I'll go ahead and give you the spiel. I'm Maxwell Chase, Mayor of Pleasant Tale. Now, you might have heard of us if you're from one of the nearby towns, so let me clarify a few things just to ease the air first, yes. We do have the highest infant mortality rate, luckily. That doesn't put a dent in you and me, pal, so we're good to go. Moral of the story, you hate kids? We're perfect for any enterprising chaffery wastelander. What else? So, right, if anyone told you about the consequences of red fern usage, I wouldn't sweat it. If you're really worried, just don't smoke it. It's that simple, folks. If you're from Dundurn, my wife has a biased outlook on how we operate, so don't listen to her. She's crazy and wants to put your brain in a metal box. What a lovely and fair city. Pleasant deal. Ooh, very nice. We have so much room for activities. More population. I like that. And then, business sure is booming. You get a civvy workshop. We could use the water, though. I'm going to risk it and not go with the water. So much room for activities. I want more population. Uh, crisis in Pleasantdale. A father goes missing, and what is one to do? Ooh. To my family. Welcome, Frankie. Well, hello there. My name is Hope. I was a personal custodian and concierge for your parents, and with you now in charge, uh, and Mr. Chase, things are about to change a little bit. I'm uh, here to help you however things go, and if it gets... To be too much for you, just be sure to let me know. I'm sure you're perfectly stable. Uh, that spends a lot more than it should. Um, because we're the Chase Dynasty. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what this is like. Intellectuals? Uh, our lovely city, because you have appeal to hope. Hope is taking control. Versus appeal to a sense. A hopeful gal. Frankie Chase gains your personal assistance. Way better compliance and resistance record growth. Hope against the machine versus making dad proud. A true chase. The funeral. Oh. Well, I'm not really sure, truth be told. <clears throat> you get a core of the electorates here. Non core manpower. Core creation cost goes down. That's pretty good. Research slot eventually. Move spectral cabal. Humane fairy reforms. Limiting Lucifer usage. Versus this is the stockpile, robotics. Intellectuals. Uh, Doctor Selma made bag, which isn't bad. Intellectuals. Robots, not bad. That seems like it's, it's pretty hard on robots, maybe? Infantry tech. Sophisticated industry and exploitation infrastructure, sisters reunited. So it's a decent thing against robots, but do we get robots or like what what's going on here? I'm not seeing a lot for robots. Remove poor man's strike. Research slots pretty nice. Lessening water shortage, not ideal. Ooh. Weekly stability Ooh, do we lose any weekly stability here? Oh we are losing weekly stability. Uh clear the roads. I'm sorry I'm taking so long because I have no idea what this is like. Uh the finest the fineries of rich society. Division attack is good, better core creation costs. Red fern sales. Honestly, we're not seeing a lot here for robots. Uh, maybe this will change it. Military crisis. It's not good to have crises. Now, we do have these things called fairies, which do have a little bit of armor on them. Um, special forces, fairy defense, and organization. I would like to use fairies, so. Robot. <clears throat> We only have two things for robots, which doesn't really give us very much, because here's the military. I'm going to just be honest with you at the beginning. We have two divisions that are fairies that have a little bit of armor on them, so that's not bad. It's kind of interesting using them. And if we go down this route, uh, fairies are considered outsider warfare, I think? Mutants? They are considered outsider warfare, so that's a route that we probably will go down. 
on this right side here, uh, how do we spell fairy? I just want to <clears throat> max out whatever fairy stuff we can. Because <clears throat> they're a pretty unique uh, battalion to use, and I'd eventually like to use them, so. You know. The fairy program. The orphanage. Plus, the fairies are good, because it gives us armor. Fairies project. Less of organization, recovery, but better defense and speed. And then more mo modifiers. Fae. But is that fairy for Fae? Six out of eight. Armor. More armor. Sophisticated special forces tech. Spawns a fairy division as well. So it looks like overall, humane fairy stuff, there's not really that much for either one, really. There's not really many buffs for either one. On either side. You get humane fairy reforms. You lose some attack. Get more organization. But that doesn't even like, help us out that much. Yeah. So, I apologize for taking so long with this. Oh. Well, really, I don't know. If you would hope, which one do I, which one would you rather have? I like compliance, growth, and speed. A true chase. It seems like I could have more stuff. Let's go with intellectuals. This explains a lot more than it should. Oh, that's people though. I'm sure you're perfectly stable. Because right now, if we want to do that, the people uh, are led by Zach Howard. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, like I said. But I don't know what this rut's like. Crash is in Pleasantdale. Yay! And I'll talk about the fairy program. If you don't know about the legacy of Timothy Little Hope, please go right ahead. Um, so, yay. Or maybe we should read it anyways. Well, I read it before. But years ago, a man by the name of Timothy Little Hope graduated from Chase University. When the endorsements from Dr. Gloria Chase herself, he rose to quick start with many of his political talks being broadcast across the electorate abroad. His philosophies, now coined as the Little Hope Doctrine, were simple. A man can do no good by themselves. It is only the greater mass can anything be achieved. To make an ideal your living, to live it as through, though a course of your own blood, to give yourself wholly to a concept that was a way to make one's life matter. His teachings became especially popular among the poor, and when the aristocrats caught wind, they latched onto it. Personalities came out of the wind in droves, gathering followers like never before, Ra radical ideas, questions about the human condition, ponderings of what was and what was not to be prevailed above the common good. While his death was about a year ago, his teachings have only grown in popularity, the electorate now bursting at the seams with a new generation of radicals. Will his teachings prevail above the sense? And so, so, lots of people here want me to clarify a few things about the who, what, where of the fairies, our amazing and stalwart protectors. Pleasantdale has no mil standing military, I mean, look at us, we aren't fighters. We're looking to live a happy life away from the rest of the world. And whether that means playing mini golf in the middle of a blizzard or eating a mute fruit pie outside the Red Heels Club, I'm here for it. I'm not one to take a punch of the jaw and let it simmer either, so when Toboggan came through and told me that 75% of the babies in your town are dying, I told him he can shove his dad up his rear and that I'd be the first one to worry about issues in Pleasantdale. And I don't have to, ever have to worry, so I fix it. We can always identify if a kid has the symptoms as the others that were going to die. If they had pistols, a cough, or anything else, we take them and we prevent them from dying. So how do we do that? The fairy program. Believe me, if we didn't come through, they'd have died and just made everything worse for everyone. This way, they're not only serving the community, but we're getting some kind of use out of the whole thing. I mean, what are we going to do? Open a big private cemetery for every Jane and John's four-month-old carcass? That'd be absurd. The fairies are all highly capable and have protectors, and that's that. If anyone has an issue with it, I'm sure they'd love to hear the geopolitical talks of a random dirt-faced wayslander. No any military? We'll see about that. Infantry equipment, more manpower, which is nice. I uh, sure hope those fairies are well-equipped. 750 things of infantry equipment. Versus, well, we better be off making a lot of stuff for them. I like that one the most. I like the manpower. You still get 100 infantry equipment, which is decent. You know, which we could use more, but that extra workshop will come in handy. Especially since we weren't able to make fairy stuff earlier. Um, so, the fate of Maxwell Chase must be discovered. Well, I don't like that we're losing stability. So, this one we're going to race towards. So, our lovely city. Pleasantdale is what we're all here for, isn't it? The countryside isn't the worst when it gets down to it, but it's a hell of a lot worse than inside the walls. And we don't even get one political power day. Freedom Radio, my name is General Freedom, and you are listening to General Freedom or Freedom Radio. I'll come to you with a real big important message. The students will eat your babies. That's right, folks. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Gobble the little guy up like it was just a bag of roast brahmin. I'll tell you what. Now, I'm not a valid mutant, but I do think that babies are sovereign creatures that deserve nothing but love and respect. Not being eaten. I've only ever eaten a handful of humans in my life, but unlike those dandelion gods, I have my limits. They'll eat your babies, too, if you keep letting them boss you around. Did you marry these bozos? I didn't think so. Huh? But let's just wake. The death of Dundrum, old Green Eye, the Loving Mist. Her titles were many, but it was one whispered by children that prevailed, a pre war creature of legend that had been her namesake, a she. Uh, a snake bigger than a hundred sheds, with rattles that clattered like thunder that could be heard twenty miles out. 
Her breath was a horrible radioactive gas capable of melting a human skin off within seconds, and her fangs wasn't paled as many as a dozen people at a time every few decades. She would erupt from a long slumber, ravaging the earth and killing hundreds in her wake. The old front did well to fear her, but the electorate had lost her touch. When she ravaged Waka uh, and Pleasant Tail, they learned their mistake, and so General Pariah and Hawkman gathered a troop of spark blades and met her at Strasbourg. She lit her cigarette as she detonated eight tons of bombs underneath the Great Snakes. Snake, sending her reeling back into the Great North for now. Even after her departure, her carnage scars the minds of the survivors and her sheddings litter the roads, though they carry with them great resources. It will take them time to heal from the damage that she left in her wake. Will her terror return? Oh boy. A minor crisis. After the divorce between Gloria and Maxwell Chase, Max would become a bitter recluse, all coming out of his mansion for the yearly winter festivals. Come 2274, however, and everyone said his return when they broke out the, the winter roast, and there was not a Maxwell in sight. All attempts to reach him have resulted in failure. Even allowing a psycho mutant to break into the mansion didn't cause a stir. Just property damage. Now, all lies are on Mis Mr. Frankie Chase, the only surviving child of Maxwell, to lead the city into a new year. Frankie wanted to preserve the, thing the way the things preserve the way the things were. Frankie wanted to listen to the father's advisors. Ooh. Frankie needed help, but they didn't trust the council either. I like the stability, but it's not much. 100 political power is pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. If we do that, uh, scientific devotion, white birch certified. Interesting. Um, experimental map. Uh, that's pretty good overall. Current party is ruler, but we're not going to stay ruler if we go with hope eventual, and intellectuals eventually. Uh, you're pretty generic. Anything here? The biggest game, hunter. Well, captain comes a little unique. You get a lot of caps income if you really wanted to. Old world infrastructure. Hope. Defense on care territory. More research speed. Those are all nice. Um, Gold and Gecko would be good too. I always like a little more stability and political power. It's not much. It's only 5%. But I also like this guy too. And it gives you stability as well. Helps out a little bit. Uh, matters of industry. In recent months, the turmoil has been served within Pleasantdale. Oh. Uh, Rides about unsafe work conditions and a growing drought of rot, rot the country with despair. We must make. Make measures to counteract it. The boy problem. Fairies are a fickle thing. On one hand, they're great as what they do. Guys can leap off a wall and hold on to a signpost like it's nothing. They're complete freaks and they're even better hunters. With the amount of infants that up and die around here, you'd think we'd be out in the zoo in numbers, but no, it's just not that simple. Though it was, and it seemed well and alright at first, but like everything else, there was a caveat. Boys and the fairy growth serums did not go well at all. Maybe it was a testosterone, maybe it was something else, but the little guys became meaner than a raider hooked up on Super Suck within weeks. It was completely horrible. How did it commission the entire generation to start again this time with just girls? They are almost perfect, but having only 50% of every dying kid in the city be able to be used wasn't ideal. Not that we could do anything about it. Uh, it was just the way things were, of course. We would have just started nabbing every baby, but the boys in the lab tell me that would go very well either. Good lord. The Grave Grove. <clears throat> Ooh, you know what? Technically we're considered mutants, so I want the fairies to do well. Let foot... Uh, Nightkins, robots. Recovery rate's not bad too. That's good. Nightkins, there's the Nightkins one. Special, light special forces. Super mutant attack. But well, we're not considered super mutants. You know what? We're gonna do a life giver for now. Once we have that. So here are some of you newer staff who have been gossiping, uh, gossiping like Manitoba nobles about the fairies and what happened to them. I'll clear this up for you before your panties get any more twisted. But if this leaves the facility, you're gonna have a lot more than fairies to worry about. Yes, the fairies have a shelf life. Yes. We think they're turning into trees. Yes, that's what messed up looking forest to the north is made of. The guy's tell me that it's a complication from all the red fern they ingest, but it's mutating them into some kind of plants. It's not working very well, though, as they just die in the end. They can't breathe anymore when your lungs turn to wood, I guess. When the lucky guys get too far gone to move anymore, we shuffle them out to the forest so they're out of the way. we got smarter folk than you are looking into it, but in the meantime, I think all of it is biodegradable recycling or something like that, and don't bring it up to the fairies. They get all whiny and weepy when you do. Oh, yeah. And if you see some of them out there in the trees having a cry, just leave them alone. They might rip your head off if you interrupt them. That's kind of messed up. Oh, well. In recent months, turmoil has been stirring up with Pleasant Dale, rides about unsafe work conditions, and a growing drought of rot, the country of despair. We must make, take measures to counteract it. We're still not even at one political power a day. How about stability, though? A uh, couple things. We've got the Spectral Cabal. The Spectral Cabal are a group of high society individuals originating from Pleasant Dale. Having experienced the same mutations from red for usage, mass stabilization and restabilization, they brought packs, mewing poetic ideals and indulging drugs. Recently, prophetic dreams have haunted the Cabal, illustrating a woman they call Saint Lake, and a chapel feeling resen resembling a familiar abandoning facility not too far out from the city. The poor man's strike. Emboldened by Timothy Littlehope and the people of Dundurn, the poor folks of Pleasant Dale are rioting. 
The water shortage is not good. The people are without water. The nobles are hoarding everything they can and won't compromise. Not that we really want them to, anyway. We can secure a proper water source again by clearing out the pipes. The death of Pleasantdale. This morning, a shocking discovery was made by the Northern River by a white birch huntsman. Hanging from a crooked branch, uh, hung the body of Mayor Maxwell Chase, his body half decayed from weeks of being lost in the wilderness and just barely out of the reach of carnivores on his persons. His last log was found detailing his uh, final words. A terrible day for all people of the city. More political power and command power gets a vent to Frankie from Dad. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. But we're going to go with Outsider Warfare immediately, because we need to. Rebel yell. P Patty Whack, proud of the darkened alleys of Pleasantdale, the clouded night sky leaving the city in heavy shadow. It all made her gangly frame easier to miss, and that, that made her happy. She was a fairy, and older and saner one the most. Behind her, trying to be quiet but unable to resist the occasional murmur or irritated growl, was Twinkie, or Twinkle. One of the last male fairies, he'd escaped the purging of his generation and always on the verge of lashing out at the world. Patty Whack was hoping she could show him, show him how to hide and seek better by showing him how to be quiet and wait. They were seeking another fairy, one hopefully patrolling on their own. The darkening hours before dawn, they found one, a shaggy haired and lumbering fairy dragged a gun behind her. Patty Whack cupped her hands and loudly whispered from the alley, Sissy, here, come and play. The other fairy looked up in surprise, her face hidden behind long, dirty blonde hair, and lurched towards them. Come and follow us, Patty Whack added as Twinkle ditched and glared out in the street with his one eye. A shell came from further down the street. Hey, BB, where are you going? The fairy, the shaggy fairy, stopped and looked back and forth from Patty Whack to the man coming down the road. A handler son was sure she didn't wander off. As soon as they came into sight, Twinkle hissed and charged out of the darkness to pounce upon them. Despite Patty Whack's protest, BB started to wail, confused at the situation. Patty Whack wasted no time, ushering BB away with soothing words and calling for Twinkle to leave the dead man. Strange, Rebels. Strange indeed. Too Frankie from Dad. Subject. Uh, thinking things over. I've been thinking about the long block long enough to really think about my life in detail, Frankie. I hope you're, it's you who hears this first and not one of the pencil pushing mouth breathers in town, but I'll know they'll run this darn thing dry before they'll let it reach you. I was born a grifter, a raider, a crapper. I lived like it too. If I'm being wholly honest, I don't know if I really regret it either, but I can think of a few things that I do regret. I never treated you well. I spent more time dragging your mother through the dirt and green lighting life ruining BS that made money. I know you haven't forgiven me about Nancy. I haven't forgiven myself either. It's my own darn conviction that got her taken from us, and I'm sorry. I know apologizing to you doesn't bring her back, heck. I don't even know where she ended up either. I guess that's why I'm out here, and you're all on your own now. Listen, I know I keep saying that, but this is for real this time. Listen to Hope. So take care of things for a time until you're ready. You've got an opportunity to change things. At the end of it all, my head was too stuck up my butt to do anything about it. Things don't have to be so terrible in Pleasant Dale. Hey, kid, I believe in you. You didn't need to hear it from me, but yeah, for what it may be worth, I love you. I love you too, Dad. Ooh. Hope gets acknowledgement error. Morning, Frankie will approach Hope for guidance. Acknowledge error. Well, this sure is troubling. Since Mr. Chase is no longer with us, things around here are more certain than ever. If I keep truly feeling this way, then I'll be sure to keep things nice and tight, just as your father would have wanted. Always so sweet. Pleasant Dope known as Hope Manifest. On second thought, never forget what once was. So I apologize if you wanted to go this route, but we'll do that in another campaign, because I'll play this Pleasant Dope twice. Billy and Hope. Hope has always been a stalwart member of the Pleasant Dale elite. She knows how to run this place, and without anyone specifically tell her, no, who else, who knows what she can do? Absolutely. We do have a cup of tea here, too. Fantastic. So now we are the CSIS influence, intellectuals, you, me, and everyone else. Uh, as much as I would like to do this group, or, you know, use Hope, um, maybe eventually we'd use her. Conventional warfare, land doctrine, land doctrine. No. Uh, maybe we'll get her later, but for now, we definitely need to do uh, Adam Archer for more land doctrine experience, because I have almost never used the outside of warfare doctrine. It's rare for me to use it, because it's usually we don't have mutants. And the fairies, well, they sound like fun. Our lovely city. Matters of industry, and then we're going to clear the pipes, and we, we have to get down here. I can't deal with this. Look at 35% stability. That's god awful. Um, anything else here? White Birch certified. It's not bad. Friends in high places. Oh, this would be nice. We can't do that one. But we did unlock scientific devotion. Better encryption and decryption. And more research speed is pretty nice. Bring your civilization is not bad. This is not bad either. Anything unique here? Bark face partly aborted. Uh, ab arborified, not aborted. Whoopsie. You get more defense, but worse. Attack and speed. Oh, our color is blue now, too. Interesting. Biggest game in town. Uh, can't change that. Waste some militias might be worth doing. They're going to immediately. Or maybe you're working on getting more stability. So we have all these things here. The Spectral Cabal. 
uh, visiting the chapels, the Spectrica Ball is famed for its strange chapels, more like strange corner clubs with decadent decorum. Eerie regenerative technologies derived from ancient manifest hardware litter the various pools, giving them a healing property like no other. The ball, Cabal claims it's the work of a wolf god that saw us come to fruition. Whatever the case may be, they're incredibly helpful. Nice. So, political power wise, we can do all that stuff. We'll close out of this. We don't need this for now. Um, but what are we missing? We're okay on guns. We need to spec up some fairies, which I don't think we can buy fairies. Which kind of sucks. Um, what would help us out? Because we are, if you don't know, we're actually going to go to war pretty darn soon. More Captain Combo would be nice. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, Manifest. Uh, was a company that de uh, desperately tried to go to the U.S. Department of Defense into providing funding for its various forays in just about every single field that could be repurposed into a military venture. Of course, the ghost now literally remains of Canada. Dozens of poorly thought out experiments that will haunt the Canadian people forevermore. Because right now, like, oh, we're not going to robots because we just get average robots. There's no point doing robots until you get, like, advanced, sophisticated technology, which we might get later, but you never know. Birch and Lucifers. The Cabal has many of the Lucifer merchants in their pocket, and Lucifers can have as many healing properties as they do destructive. What's we'll say we don't make some recreational use of some? Honestly, that might not be bad buying some right now. We could use them on our guys a little later. How about our caps? Uh, humoring the Cabal. Fifty political power, it's not really worth it. Prying open the little libraries, committing the war rituals, not bad too, but it's not super needed. You know what, just in case, we're gonna go to waste our militias. We have the political power now, we might as well spend it. No standing military, not good. Like I see the Timothy Little Hope. Uh, the Little Hope doctrine remains fresh in people's minds, even after his passing. The people are galvanized under their own cliques, working against each other with a pointless hatred going in their hearts. Cool. Clearing the pipes. The group of Umbravor have settled a nest at some of our popping sites in the wake of the recent riots. We'll send in Flowerhead to eradicate them and clean up what's left. That'd be great. Yeah, so we have 10 days left. And then recovering from Lushy. Months ago, a colossal mutated rattlesnake tore through a country. Recovery teams worked to rebel what was destroyed and salvage what we can from her sheddings that she left behind. Nice. Good. More, a little more stability. Industry technology. And then pumping station number two. Securing another end of the pumping station should be enough to cover the city itself and the, and the crisis. Uh, Any more would be in excess. It's not bad. More water is nice, but not super necessary. This one's we have to do first. We don't have to do, I guess, technically. We'd still be alive, but, you know, we wouldn't fare very well. And we have animal militia. That's not great. In all honesty, we have fairies. We have nobility, which is militia, and then special forces. So, not great. If anything, we really need to max out the fairies. Um, you're going to come up to the top, and you're going to go two. We're going to go one only for you guys. Because these are more important. They actually have a decent armor. Um, winery. Pl power plant. Political power. I mean, you get a lot of political power, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, research lot, too, would be very nice. Poor man strike. White Birch Society. More population would be good. Listen to Dell's military crisis. That would help as well. For daily command power. Small standing military would be good, too. Um, appealing to hope. Are there any benefits of appealing to hope first? Stockpile, hope, uh, hoping well. This wouldn't be bad. Hope schemes. Dunder an attack and defense against country. Stoon, attack. Guns, guns, guns. Doctor's homemade bag. Honestly, no. We get workshops, which is pretty good overall, but still. Washed out from Dundurn. Production. Worse, better resistance target for us. I mean, getting the arms workshop would be very nice. And they will, they will be needed. Don't get me wrong. If anything, I would rush to get this one. Preparing in secret. The stockpile. Max always told me, Honey, I want you to protect this place if I die. And protect it, I will. Each of these machines will prevent anyone from hurting us. Just because we like to play nice doesn't mean we have to play nice at all the time. Heh <laughs> heh. And then, uh, we'll do the military stuff too. Pleasant Dell's military crisis. Between Lucifer, the users, and the fairies, Pleasant Dell's military isn't the best. Of course, Solomon over in Stoon would tell you don't worry about it, but we all know better. Also, if you'd like to read about the day of me, please go ahead, lest we forget. The terrible American occupation. Good. I mean, I want to use the, the election was rigged. 
Uh, oh god. The election for the last grand elector was fraught with controversy and discussion for decades. The Dundurn estate held the title, the industrial populace and the might of the spark blaze giving them a first great stake in the vote. It was met with great surprise when the dandies of Stoon won instead this time, spurring the likes of Tom, Timothy Little, Hope, and Gloria Chase to extend power within their demise. But recent news indicates that the suspicions were in fact correct. Pierre Sullivan conspired with several of the notorious nobles of thin student to rig the election in the favor and undermine Dunder once for all. Already a bloodthirsty riders belaguering in the streets. Democracy was sabotaged. Say it's not so. Who could have ever seen this happening? We could. Um, we're gonna get more attack. Ferocious loyalty. Well, it's either this one or this one or this one or this one. We get this one anyways. Reinforce rate. We're gonna definitely need that one. So things are about to explode here. Yay, we got rid of that negative thing. Yay. Demand tribute? Oh, I don't think so. It makes sense for us to do this one. Building technology resource. But it doesn't really benefit us immediately. I guess this one's this one, this one unique. But this one's good too. Lafayette Travis, yeah. More research speed is always pretty good too. So at least this is not going down anymore, which is fantastic. Pushing for contractors. Not bad, that's good. Honestly, ooh, three arms workshops, that's strong. About the Cabal. Um, this would still be good to get. The Fairies Project's not bad. Special Force Attack and Defense and whatnot. Um, let's go with the Red Fern, because it gives us three more arms workshops. Crap. The Red Fern is the greatest export. It's what makes us stand out from the rest of the doofuses in the world. So, after decades of governing, the Saskatchewan electors fall into complete and utter disarray. Following recent news of the election being rigged, or properly conducted, the people of Dunder and Pleasant Dillon Stoon rally for wars each faction fights for complete control of the land. To war. Oh god, no. So, this is not very good. So why can't I do, like, a complete line here? I don't know, do that or something. Because really, the goal is to, like, encircle them and beat them up that way. So I'm really hoping these guys kill each other off as well. That's not a terrible thing to happen for us. Oh, come on. Divisions as each group pass. We are the smallest, weakest group. I might have to use consequence for this. We'll see. I don't want to, but we'll see. God dang it. Yeah, no, this is this is impossible. I think we're pretty much meant to die because we can't compete. We have six divisions versus up to 31, so this is literally impossible. Um, hopefully the goal is that they kill each other off too. So you're going to go and start getting out of here. Just retreat because we just need divisions, and we don't have that. Get back to Anaheim. They're just focusing on us to beat us up. Let's go here. You all go here. Retreat, 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 retreat. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong, I love to encircle and destroy things, but like we can't when we have nobody showing up here. We got this though, which is good. 
Um, anything else begins scavenging program? Sure, why not? Drastic measures. Don't really care about that too much. More stability would be good. What are you going into? You have to hold. That's fine too. Hello. Woodworking. Um, we'll see. I need one division down here too. No, I need you to stay there. I need you to move a little faster than this. Come on. You know what? Screw it. Combine. Go. God dang it. Outside of Warfare, that's good at least. More soft attack, hard attack, organization. And mutated endurance. More cover rate is also very good too. So we should do a little, slightly more damage now. I hate that they're literally just focusing on us, it seems like. Go in. Come on. There you go. Well, hopefully we can destroy this division. Be pretty nice. Come on. Oh, you, you're gonna have to stop that. You're not gonna be able to hold there. Good so far. Hey, at least we got rid of one enemy. We've lost the most though. We can't compete against this. It's literally impossible. Our finest export. Oh, Lucifer's. Well, this one's really getting people in a tizzy. So, the Red Fern is why we're here in the first place. It's a great narcotic, and we can make even better chems with it. It's got everything an aspiring wrist hunter could want, and induces a high enough kick in Umbravor out of the dark. It's got medicinal properties out the wazoo. The lab boys find something new with it every weekend, I swear. What's really outstanding about it, and probably the best export we've picked up on, are Lucifer's. Little cigarettes, we can sell that induce a sort of temporary mutation in the bloodstream, or something like that. Anyway, when you take a smoke of it, you might find yourself slinging a bit of fire from your fingers, or maybe you can smell a thousand more smells than you did three seconds before. That's not the high, that's the mutation. Don't let your friends on fire for a joke, and yes, it happened many times. The point of the gist, folks, is this. We'll sell psychic powers that you can get from just a puff of smoke. If that isn't the magic Pleasantdale at work, I don't know what folks what it is, folks. But let me tell you, it sure does make for a great festival or two. That sounds unethical, but whatever. Hey, more fairies immediately? Oh, yes, please. Little Treasure Orphanage is where all the fairies in training go, if you have ever seen the inside, but Dr. Olivia Baxter's been there for from the beginning. The future of the fairies began with her, the future of the rest with her, too. Because we desperately need more fairies. Especially this is going to be the mainstay of our military here, too. So There you go, right there. Good. Uh, we do need more infantry armor. We need more resources, too. Can we please do something about this? Come on, guys. Do better. So they're trying to circle us, and we say no. Come on. Good. You know what? So be it. Retreat the hair then. Let them kill each other more. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I said don't worry about it. Jesus Christ. Are you not listening? Good. Going in around. If we can circle and destroy power armor division, that'd be fantastic. Two divisions here. Warp up again would be nice too. 
healing, research speed, division recovery rate, more attack and defense, core territory. You know what? We have it. We'll almost try it. Slowly gonna win here. Hopefully we're gonna win here too. Berries. That. Um, better division, debating time, better organization. If we get more manpower. There's a lot of stability though. Daily command power and gain increase. Division defense core terror would be nice too though. Inferior organization. With the growing chaos in the electorate and beyond, Dr. Bax has proposed a mad plan to secure the future of the electorate. We must expand the definition of what has become a theory yet again. Sickly little girls will only get us so far. We prefer sickly little boys? Well, I don't know about that, but. Nice. Uh huh. Well, you did it to yourself. What the garbage? Please don't lose there. You are gonna stop doing that. Come on. You are literally not allowed to lose. I want you to hold. Go here. Go in here. Good. Up out. The string of power armor division would be fantastic, though. War propaganda. Uh, that'll help with defense. That's why I mobilized earlier too, just in case. Come on, come on. Hey, we destroyed a power armor division. That is fan flippin' tastic. We lost 130, but we're doing better now. Maybe we don't have to use Gaunt's commands, but you never know. Because these guys also got in circle, which is good to see, too. Um, that's okay, so we're going to go up and around. They're going to be dastardly to us. We'll be dastardly back, right back to them. These guys in place go up and around if you can, of course. They're biting up a little bit more than I think we can chew right now, but it is what it is. Good, good. Keep it up. This is not ideal, but it is what we have. Sure, sounds some inner prospectors. How much money do we have? 15? That's not bad. A month. Search speed, hope equipment, recovery rate, that's not too bad too. It's not great, but it could work maybe. This hopefully will work. Please don't move, please don't move, please don't move. Please stay there, please. Not great, not bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. Infantry equipment is doing better than I thought it would. I just don't want to move, because if I move, they might move. I don't like that. Good. And enhancing monster production. Uh, after so long, Olivia's gathered concepts for upgrades for her gear based off her armor improvements from across many generations of fairies. Let us put them to good use. Absolutely. Screw it, we're moving in. We have to keep those guys in place. See, they're, we're moving, and the, this, this are moving. Come on. No, 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 no. You have to hold. You have to do better up here. Come on. Going here too. Nice. Come on, get in there. Yes, yes, we did it. Get good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. You're still struggling down here, but that doesn't surprise me. Honestly, you can stop wasting lives. Keep it up. Make sure that they can never recover. Well, we're done conducting war ritual. You know what? We're gonna do it again. More war rituals, yay! Army speed's looking decent. Also, take over Petro Chico. War camps are nice. You better put them in their camps. And manpower, we're looking decent. We don't need any more manpower for now. Gladiators would be nice. Uh, reliability, I guess, maybe. This is not good. But once this division is here is dead, that'll be a huge win for us. Getting rid of their power armor, fantastic. Anything you live learned here? Bloody mess. Infantry, ghoul infantry, equipment capture ratio, reinforce rate. Nightkin attack, but we're not nightkins. Um, robotics, we're not robots, we're fairies. So I don't exactly know which ones we should choose here. Strong back, heavy special forces, max entrenchment. Well, you know what, let's go with idiot savants. Better supply and then better equipment capture ratio, but we have no manpower, which sucks. Anyone about profits from the drug trade, please go right ahead. I love drugs, we got them, yeah. 
crack. Oh, you're attacking us too, huh? Good. Open it up. Just destroy this division. You god darn bloodsuckers. Nice. Keep it going. What are you doing? Where are you going? You wanted to enter our lands and try to beat the crap out of us. How dare you. Um, let's go with addressing Lucifer usage. Lucifer has only gotten more and more popular every year, and while we sustain the red firm demand, if the toll is starting to take on our people, has become more and more noticeable. We must be cautious with how it is to be dealt with. Hey, better dispose your forces. I love it. That's what you deserve. You pieces of garbage. Now we're looking alright. Earlier, previously, I thought we'd have to use council commands, but we definitely do not now. We're doing very well. And if anything, we have an equal number of divisions, too. Cool. So find them, kill them, make them suffer. The way of the land. You go here, you do this, go keep going even further around him then. Mutated endurance, very good. Mutated strength mastery, more breakthrough soft attack and heart attack. Very nice. So we'd like to see. Seriously, bro, you wanna get encircled? That's dumb. Now they're realizing maybe we're bigger than that than they thought we were. What? Here, hold back up. Oh, come on, Blighted Woods. Are you kidding me? Go in. I thought we were doing well. And then the game decided to screw us over a little bit. Help him out there. That'll be good. Um, just in case we get encircled here. Good. Bonus for land auction is very nice. Nice. An actual full on spec ops division. Down there. Good. He got in there. Are you freaking kidding me? Alright. Screw this. You have to go here. Bolt. No. I don't want you to go there. God dang it. They're not even doing the raid properly! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, we got in there. That's good. Come on, end the frickin' raid. I thought we were doing so well. Come on. Uh, about the Cabal. The Special Cabal has long been a thorn in the side of every enterprising aristocrat. There's somewhere between a religious order and a bunch of cam addicted swingers, and everybody knows it, of course. Even if you've been healed by one of their special spas, you know better than to trust them outright. Alright, you're going to lose it anyway, so just hold. Back up. Are you freaking kidding me? We got there, we won! Oh, bull crap. That's stupid. That's incredibly stupid. And now we have to redo all this again. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Bro, what is going on here? Go down, go around, and do this. <sighs> this is so stupid. This is a t very tough start. My god. You know what, go here. If you move fast enough, you might be able to cycle more. Which is what, exactly what we want and need. Kill yourself. Kill it. Kill it. Kill the fire.
Well, at least we get rid of another enemy division, at least. Let them kill each other. It's really what we need. Help out. Help them out and kill them off. Siege Hidden Valley. Good. Go in here. Go and strike down from the north. Oh, we don't have to. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. So you guys are all going to do this. You, on the other hand, can just kind of hang out here. Everyone else can move down here in the south, southern portion. Manpower's still looking pretty good, though. Surprised we're actually doing okay on manpower. If that's the case. You guys go there, there, there. there. Um, what else do we have? Military command, partly occupied. I don't want to lose. I get more defense. But I don't want to lose any attack. Biggest game hunter. Might as well go and do that one. It's fine. Whatever. Where are you going? I should go here first. Go here. No, why did you leave Waka? You're gonna get us encircled, you ding dong. How about the spectral cabal? <clears throat> uh, yeah, be for the best. Go right there. Let's come to my attention. There's a group of enlightened folks running around with fancy suits who like to gather in big parties and smoke red fern together. As it turns out, these folks like to fashion themselves as political influencers and prescribed geniuses. Let's hash out some details. You don't have to have superpowers, and you aren't some big important player in Pleasantdale. You're a bunch of idiots who huddle in rooms with 200 year old velvet carpets, hop out a pipe, and pretend to know it alls. What's my point? If you want to throw up some tribal fetishes and sing Happy Day around a puddle of water that you stole from the past, that's fine by me, but don't go pretending like you have some sort of cosmic say in how the city is ran. The city is founded by chases, and they'll die with them too. Red Fern's a hell of a chem. Encouraging Lucifer's. Lucifer's are a staple of life here in Pleasantdale. Well, if I can't flick a spark from my wrist to power my nightlight, then what good am I? Oh, what happened to our, what happened to our money? Hello? Not so much for having monies. Money's for the honeys. No stability, too. But what do you expect? I expect better. Good. Murder them. And by murder them, I mean just literally just kill them all off. As you're going down this way, too. Good. Kill it. And by kill it, I mean kill them. Smoke signals are good. Good, good, good. Decryption is good, too. Fantastic. Maybe you can get it soon. I don't know. Maybe. Where are we headed? I have no clue. Abedin. Can you, like, not do that right now? Thank you. You guys are completely cut off. Go and do this. Which does unfortunately mean that they're going to be coming for us completely, but still. No, oh, kill them off. That at the Grand Gallery. Just last night, a strange German uh, man cloaked in hoods broke into the Grand Gallery of Pleasantdale, slaw eloping with a near pristine suit of armor belonging to Sir Daniel Bodena, a deceased knight of Yorkton who fought in the war of the First Republican Coalition. The James Dynasty promises to find the perpetrators and see to it that the armor restores its rival place in the galleries by your eyes and so shiny. If anything, these guys have to die here. What are you doing? Stay here. Where are you going? Go here and stay here. Now you can go this way. Yay, we got him. Um, you know what? I'll sacrifice Stune for this one. You know what? No. It's good. Reserve all of it. Mm. 
Well, would you look at that? We did it. God dang, we did it. And I'm all around. So now it's 1v1. Thank God. Jesus Christ. 9v... Maybe 9. Which still isn't good for us. We're still missing more fairies. We're making more fairies. Um, you know what? We'll see. Plug up the holes. Plug up the holes. If anything, they've got a lot of guys over there. So I just want you to hold here. And really keep it so that they're really pissed off. Basically. Get down to there. Get down. Get down. Go, 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 go. The code signals, good. Maybe the encode signals. Nice. Um, well, we don't need that per se, but then again, we don't need a lot of things here. You're all staying here. Move in. Attack. Encouraging Lucifer's good and exalting the Cabal. The Spectral Cabal are one of the finest friends a man or woman can have, you know, the Electorate. They're well seasoned members of the aristocracy and grants its purchase with many of the nobility in the region, and they're well known among the poor for what good the chops have done to heal. Cool. Completely cut them off. Boff? Off. At Humboldt. This side doesn't matter nearly as much. I want you to hold, well, go back to Stoon. Because I don't want you getting circled. I don't want you to die here either. You're just here to hold. You go in here. And you're losing a lot, which sucks. Go here and kill them off. Go here, kill them off. Go here, now kill them off. All right, you guys really freaking suck. <laughs> If anything, you probably would win here first. Are you kidding? I'm gonna murder the Blood Woods. I hate the Blood Woods so much right now. Get here first. We just want to encircle my man. Great. Well, at least we got that done for now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then we gotta kill you off here too. We'll bind them all together. There you go. Whew. Stay there, help them out. No, you're going here. Help. Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry I'm complaining so much. But it pisses me off to no end. We've got a little fantastic encirclement here. We can't even control these divisions, and we're going to get destroyed there. I mean, who? What? Why? Why? Why does this have to be so freaking difficult? Now we're going to reassess everything again. Are you freaking kidding me? I just need divisions on the field. So stupid. So incredibly stupid. Thank God we repaid the roll. That's so stupid. <sighs> Come on. At least we didn't get any divisions of ours encircled. No, you stay down there. Are you kidding me? Come on. Yep. I guess you're going across. Exalting the cabal and expanding the facilities. Now the fairy production is in full swing. We must expand Dr. Olivia's factories or facilities and ensure a perfect fairy training program. Pretty much. Don't lose there. <laughs> this blight of woods crap. And then more HP, which is good, or more initiative and organization. Ooh, I like organization. Reinforce some battle. We have to get his planning done. What's about any coordination modifiers you have? Organiz flat organization is very strong. HP is nice, but it's 20%, which is not bad too, but I like the flat organization. Early tactical lessons. 
All right, they signed away their, their lives. I really want to just force the attack, but I know it would lead to nothing here. Uh, you guys do that too. There you go. Negative 1,000 monies. Um, well, this seems pretty pretty like a person we should probably do. Something unique. Thank God we got rid of another division. Some special forces up that way. Up now here too. I mean, they have special forces here, which is tough to break through, don't get me wrong, but still. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know about here. Yep. So it's gotta be. What the hell is that about? Hello? Oh my. Well, there's no point doing that then. I'm sorry. This is just frustrating as all heck. At least we got rid of that division up there. I mean, we've lost 400. We've killed off so many. Just go in. You do that. You go for the victory points. Jesus Christ. This is not an easy start. I would probably not recommend this for anybody. Unless you're like really good at uh, overall blues, really. At least that's good looking up there. Yavin has defenses. Nice. Keep those guys in place. Seed selection is nice. We got him. I apologize for all the rage, but like, my god, this is difficult. We spent the entire episode doing this, really. Manifest up, at least. These are looking good here. Um, there we go. We're going through resource slots, though. We need more command power. We need a lot of things here, don't we? Well, that took us entire camp, well, not entire campaign, but all that to do that there. Uh, so our auxiliaries are nice. Cool. And then we can do an appealing to hope. A stockpile? No. Max always told me, honey, I want you to protect this place if I die, and protect it I will. Each of these machines will prevent anyone anyone from hurting us. Mm, more war sport. Preparing a secret? Just because we like to play nice doesn't mean we have to play nice all the time. Uh -huh. Scheming against the others. Oh, well, I guess we could have used this earlier too, but they really hate us, you know? It's better just take cute little pointers and prepare for the inevitable possibility that they will turn against us. Hoping, hoping well. I believe we can do this. Even without Mr. Chase, we can use the Red Fern for, both, for good, both scientifically and otherwise. Red stains. Huh. Taking a stem pack and shoving it. Uh, <clears throat> a red fern juice in there is bound to accelerate the healing factor. And mutation manifests in by extension Pleasantdale claim no responsibility for any degeneration of human traits. The White Birch Society. In Pleasantdale, there's a fine, a, a fine society, folks. One which even hope is privy to, the ladies, gentlemen, um, gents, and all of the people of the White Birch Society pride to themselves on big game hunting and secret parties. They're quite tightly knit with a spectacle ball. A tide run deep in the city's blood. I almost never use militia, but you know it's bad when I have to use militia for this. Um, all militia is going to be converted to oh, these guys. Very patrols. Starting now. Because you are what? Winter Specialist, SLY, Life Giver, Inspirational, Hope for the Future. Oh, excuse me, gets the others. Good. Um, listen up, numbskulls. The hope, this here is hope. She may not have a little heart of all of this, but she's got a hell of a lot more in this computer than any of you have in your body, so when she talks, you're going to want to listen. Now, she's a real sweetheart, but she's passionate about her ideas, so you probably don't want to push her get back, push back against her too much. That is, unless you're me. Me and her have some understandings. We sure do, Mr. Chase. Both well, Maxwell Chase gone. Strange communications. Hmm. Arms, workshops, infantry tech. Oh, yeah. Guns, guns, guns. Uh, getting this here would be pretty nice, too. Um... Per a permanent? I didn't realize this. Permanent to a reduction in coring costs. It's nice. Um, uh, the best deterrent for a man with a gun is more men with more guns. Oh, so they do workshops pumping up fire. Well, pacifying the weak. Make no mistake, I'm a pacifist first and foremost, which is why we must make sure others pacify too. Um, that seems alright. Sparkling is not bad. Well. The Wadino Winery. The Wadino Winery has long since been a staple pleasant Dale. Who doesn't remember the first step of that fire of mute fruit wine? Not bad. And Followers of the Apocalypse? Uh, if you don't worry about this one, please go ahead. This is pretty normal. Well, I'm coming too. We got, I'm going to murder you. And if the Iron Alliance does not murder you, I'm going to murder you harder. Actually, 
here with ptosis. I don't care. You have to die. You have pissed me off. Guess we could use another general tier, but still. Oh, strange communications. Ah, oh, there you are. When we learn of Mr. Chase's death, that hopes, huh, that you would find yourself at the seat. It is to my understanding that you prefer to be guided, is that correct? Well, me and my assistants have a few things that we could really use your help with, so in exchange we'll help you too. Let's talk business. Oh boy, this will be good. A new decision category has appeared. Doesn't do it. One manifest rod control. Oh. Hello? Huh. New decisions appeared. Oh, dealing with destiny. For authorized personnel only, CSIS Communiqui, Hope, your sister's technology is very valuable to us, just as I'm sure she's valuable to you. Inevitably, she's going to come knocking on your door. Or will come knocking on hers. Either way, securing Manifest North will be a mutually beneficial experience, and we hope to see your sister safe and sound. You have my word. Oh! Well, we could have gone to war with the gateway anyway. Wait. Okay. War goals. Securing Manifest North gets core Manifest North, too. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff here. Interesting. I kind of like it. But that's going to end us here for this episode. I apologize for being a little rage earlier, but it is what it is. And I hope you enjoyed the video, though. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a fat like arena. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to see what we can do with Manifest Hope. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.